want to have a conversation about starting a business and getting support. I think there is a discussion to have about this because I've I seem to get a lot of questions from friends and colleagues who are starting their own business, being either a photographer or whatever it is. Um, and I think the basically people get this idea that if their friends don't support them, then you know they're not their friends or they should find new friends and etc cetera, etc. Cetera. I think that's bullshit. Honestly, I think it's bullshit. I think that people are so stuck on having their friends support them for their business that they feel like they don't they don't try to move forward until that happens. And I think that's stupid. I think that you need to be you need to understand something. And I say this all the time. Are your friends the clientele that you that you even want to be honest with you all your friends um, your main uh, target audience of business nine times out of ten no <laughs> nine times out of ten no when I started on my photography business my friends were were intrigued you know they somewhat talked about it they really didn't care they already started noticing was getting big once the, once we were out in public and people would stop us or stop me and be like oh i love your work da 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 i love to work with you in the future then they're like what the fuck is going on you know i think the notion of like your friends and not your friends if they don't support your business is crap you know it's crap your friends are not your target audience. Your friends are not are not the clientele you're looking for. So what is the big deal trying to force them to support you so bad that you you, you put yourself on pause when you don't have that support? You know, move forward. Find the clientele. Find find the people that that want to work with you, that want to to basically build with you that want to be part of this legacy that you're creating. Your friends, if, if, if need be, if they find it valuable, will support you, you know? Sometimes I think you, you need to separate the two. You need to separate the two, because I've heard people try to try to do business with their friends, like in terms of, maybe uh doing their makeup or whatever and it turns into a whole shit show it turns into a whole shit show you you need to understand that your friends are your friends and just that the support is different in terms of like maybe reposting something i get it you maybe want them to repost but i mean if they're your friends most likely you guys have the same group of friends <laughs> like, most like you guys hang around in the same circles. Most like you guys have the same roundabout of of people that know you and know them and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And uh, it it wouldn't go anywhere. Like I get it. It brings more awareness. But like, come on. I mean, you guys know the same circle of people. It's not hard to, for those people to catch on eventually. You just have to be consistent. Just be consistent. Consistency will will help you in the long run than, you know, the support, quote unquote, you know? Like, do you think any of my friends are subscribed to my YouTube channel? Probably not. I mean, maybe they are, but I, I personally haven't seen it, but I'm not looking for it either. You know, I've been doing photography for 10 plus years and I've never had the instance of my friends be like, yo, like, um, let me, let me get a full shoot to support you. You know what I mean? But I w I'm not looking for that because they don't even do photo shoots like that. You know what I mean? I, I have one friend who's brought his family to do photos, you know what I mean? And, and so I had another friend who was interested in acting and he needed headshots and I provided that, you know, but I wasn't like 
angry at them for for the last 10 years because they didn't support my business no that, that wasn't my target audience you know one of my friends recently asked me he's he wants to be a dj and he's like you know how do you deal with people not supporting you and i just told him like how do you want them to support you you know how do you want your friends to support you like do you want them to repost your stuff you know what i mean did you ask them to repost it you know what i mean stuff like that like if you're not asking them i don't, i i, I I mean, even if they repost, like, we all have the same group amount of friends, you know? Are your friends even entrepreneurs to even begin with? They don't understand this world, you know what I mean? They, they, they don't get it. They, they're not part of that world, so do your friends even have enough followers for you got, for, for them to repost that it would matter to you in, in, a, in the slightest, you know? If they support, that's a bonus. Kudos. Great. We love it. If they don't, it's not going to kill you. So I'm gonna kill you. I think this idea of they're not your friends if they don't support you is just so damaging, so damaging to friendships, to 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 relationships. Everything has its place. Everything has its place. You know, friendships, family, business, acquaintances. Everything has its place. And when you try to blur the lines of that, you and you catch, you you put your feelings into it, you you're gonna be disappointed. Unfortunately, like I feel like people don't want to live in reality, and they have this fantasy in their head and expectations, and you know, expectations will will definitely kill your dreams. Expectations will kill your dreams, and. It's, you only have yourself to blame. You only have yourself to blame because you had expectations, but that's it's not rooted in reality. That's not rooted in fact. You know what I mean? Like, come on, come on. You guys have to understand. You, you look at all celebs when they tell you like, my family da 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 didn't support me da 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 da. They say it all the time, and they're successful. You know what I mean? A lot of celebrities say that. A lot of Prominent business owners say that, but for some reason, people just can't seem to catch the drift. <laughs> like, can't seem to catch the idea of like, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta zone in on yourself. You know, improve your craft, improve whatever you're trying to do in terms of business, and focus on that. The people will come after. The people will come after. You know, you will build your own community you will build your own community and that eventually will be your clientele you build your own your own little circle and that's that's just the way i see it like my my photo shoot photography friends have never met my actual friends you know my actual homeboys my actual brothers like that I've known for practically my whole life, you know? I, I I don't really blur the lines there all the time. But sometimes we'll see each other, like, if in passing, like, if we go to events or whatever, you know, I'll be like, oh, here's my brother, you know? Like, I know him for years, and this, this is one of my co- this is one of my, 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 my co-workers or whatever. This is one of the people I work with. And then, like, hey, what's up, blah, blah, blah. That's it. The, the two sides hardly meet. They hardly me, you know, because those are my friends. These are the people that I do business with. I, I just, you know, this thing where people get really hurt when they're, fr I get it. Like, you know, you, you, you want people to support you that you love and, you know, that's your tribe, you know, but every tribe is different. Everybody has different tribes for different things. Use cases, you know, do you, do you use, um, are you going to use a screwdriver to 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 basically to to use it as a hammer? It's not going to work out for you. <laughs> different tools meant for different things, right? So that's all I'm saying. I just think that basically people need to understand that not everything needs to mesh together. You know, not everything needs to mess together. You have you have your purpose, they have theirs. 
and I think when you discover that it, you, you live a better life because even sometimes say if you're, if you're stressed out about your your work your photography or whatever it is that you're doing and you just need to get away how are you gonna get away when you've already meshed the two two sides together how are you gonna get away from that when I go with my friends we hardly talk about my photo shoots they talk about photography we talk about other things <laughs> <laughs> and it's great it's an escape for me to get away from from work and stuff i love i love when my boys say let's have guys night because i because i know so it's i get to get away from the the norm of, of business and work you know but I don't know. that's all i want to say that's really all i want to get to and um yeah just keep moving forward and you know be consistent in your business be consistent in your business and Enjoy it. Have fun.